Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to check the Runcam EP, a new digital only camera from Runcam which is currently compatible with the DJI Digital FPB system. This is actually the second camera from Runcam which supports the DJI system as the first one was the Runcam Racer 4 which also has analog FPV support and you should note that because DJI slash Cadex don't really like other companies to manufacture cameras that are supported by their digital system without permission, the support for these cameras might be removed in the future. However, currently, at the moment of shooting this video, these two cameras are still supported by the Cadex Vista and DJI Air Unit systems. Basically, the Runcam MIPI is an improved version of the Racer 4 without the analog FPV support, it's available with and without this 12 cm long 26 pins cable which is used by the DJI Digital FPV system and it is named after MIPI, the organization which certifies this cable. In terms of features and specs, on the back side of the Runka MIPI you can find a 26 pins connector which is going to enable you to connect it to the Cadex Vista or DJI Air Unit. It's a good opportunity to mention that this camera is not compatible with the FetShark SharkBite system and unfortunately the back of the camera is exposed and it doesn't come with a compatible cover so I highly recommend to use a 3D printed part or other type of cover in order to better protect it. In addition, the Ranka MIPI is a micro-sized camera and its dimensions are 19 by 19 by 17.3 mm it's using an M12 1.8mm lens and it weighs 6.4 grams, so it is slightly heavier than the Runcam Racer 4 and the Cadex Nebula Micro and Nebula Pro cameras. Just like the Runcam Racer 4 and the Nebula Micro and Nano cameras, and unlike the Nebula Pro, Air Unit Lite, and DJI cameras, the Runcam EP supports only 720p 60 frames per second mode so 120 frames per second mode is not supported and unfortunately it won't enable you to adjust any of the camera settings using the DJI goggles. Now after this quick introduction, the next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Runka MIPI camera and after initially testing it out, I can tell you that in my opinion it's indeed an improved version of the Racer 4 as its picture quality seems to be better. You should note that I still didn't test the Runka MIPI under low light conditions, however in the next few days I'm going to post a side by side comparison of the MIPI and the Nebula Pro where I'm going to test these cameras under different lighting conditions. Now I'm going to show you some flight footage using the Runka MIPI camera and by the way in case you are interested in a similar comparison like the Nebula Pro with the Runcam Racer 4 or the Cadex Nebula Micro cameras please let me know and I'll do my best to make it happen. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and as always if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.